FMCG major HUL will be reporting earnings today. The street expects a weak quarter. So if you look at the numbers, a decline is expected on both revenues, EBITDA as well as net profit. So for HUL, just remember three numbers, 4, 6 and 1. 4% decline in revenue, 6% decline in EBITDA and 1% decline in the net profit. So our poll throws up a total income of around that 74.50 crore mark, a decline of 4% as I pointed out. EBITDA would be around that 1350 crore mark with margins declining by 40 basis points around that 18% mark. The net profit, optically it looks like a cut of uh, just about 1% around that 967 crore mark, but that is primarily because the base quarter had an exceptional loss of 80 crore. So if we adjust for that, the net profit would be much lower. Now the most important thing to watch for HUL will be the volume growth or volume degrowth as uh, the street is working with, but there's a wide range there. The street is working with minus 1% to minus 7%, primarily owing to the events that took place during this quarter, most importantly the demonetization impact. So the volume estimates are all over the place. If you look at the last four or five quarters, the company has reported positive volume growth. It was the last quarter where the volume growth ticked into negative terrain with a 1% decline. And now some analysts post demonetization say that the earliest time frame for volume recovery could be as early or rather as late as the first quarter of FY18. A couple of other factors to watch. The first one is a weak sales growth due to demonetization, of course, and that will be stemmed by a 0.5 to 1% price hike uh, taken or promotions withdrawn in the soaps division because higher raw material cost, which may impact the gross ma margins, because if you look at the PFAD prices, which is the key raw material for soap, that has increased 70% year on year. So watch out for lower margins because of that. That said, uh, the margins may be uh, limited or the fall in margins may be limited limited by lower ad spends. The company has reduced its ad spend and we'll watch out for management commentary. Okay, 461 from HUL. Those are the key numbers for 